Hey everyone, Nitesh this side. Hope you are doing good. So let's start with the question. So the question is container with most water. Okay. So you are given an integer array which represent a height of length n. Okay. So there are n vertical line rows such that two endpoints of i line are i comma zero and i comma height of i. Okay. So it's basically you are given a array and each array representing a height. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to find the two lines that together with the x axis from a container such that the container contain the most water. Okay. And you have to return the maximum amount of water of a container can store. So you can assume like this height as a pillar and you can say like uh, you have to like from this point to this height it will store some water. So you have to return the maximum water that you can contain in this height. Okay. So let's understand with an example. Okay. So let's take this example. So as you can see, this is the height array. So every index represent a height. Okay. So I uh, take it as like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the indexes. And on the left, on the y axis, it's representing the height. Okay. So as you can see, for 0, I am having a height of 1. For 1, I am having a height of 8. Okay. Now what I have to return is I have to basically calculate the area. Okay. So you can say I have to calculate the area from this point to any this point. Okay. Now how to calculate the area first step is so area is like it's a rectangle. So it's a uh, height into width. Okay. Now after finding the area you need like how to calculate the height and how to calculate the width. Okay. So what you can say is uh, so your height will be is basically you can say if I have this uh, one height and the second one is this height. Okay. So what is the maximum water what I can take it like I can't store from this to this to this to this. I can only store from this to this. Okay. So I will take the minimum one either this one or either this one. So as you can see the minimum is this. So this is the amount. Uh, this is the maximum height I can take. So you can you can calculate the height now you will ask like how will you calculate the width so width is pretty simple you will just do uh, let's say this is your j pointer and this is your i pointer so you will just do j minus i and you will get your width and you will calculate the your uh, your area okay so you got to know like how to calculate the area and you got to know what is the quotient so how we will approach this question is basically uh, like we will start from here so you can say our first pointer is pointing at here is this is your i and you can say this is your j okay so first step what we will do we will calculate the area from this point to this point okay so we'll calculate the area here so what will be the area so first is you can say the height is let's say so your height is either minimum of area of i or area of j so this is one and this is eight so the minimum one is you can say is one and you will calculate a width. So width will be eight minus zero. Okay. So that will be eight. So you will get the eight from here. Okay. You calculate first area. Now how to identify whether I will have to increment I or I will have to increment J. So what we will do whoever is maximum will keep it like whoever height is maximum will keep it and we move the other one. Okay. So what we will do at this point, uh, we will just increment our i. So i will come at here, and again now we'll calculate the area. Okay. So what is the height for this case? So for this case, you can say your area will be. You will every time you will take the maximum. Okay. So this time your height is eight, and this is also you can say seven. So minimum is seven, and you will calculate your width so width will be 8 minus 1 which is 7 so 7 into 7 is 49 so you will update your area so this is your max area you can say this is having 49 till now okay now again which will which will be you will, will increment either you will increment the maximum one so this is the maximum one so what we will do we will decrement rj okay so area of i is 8 and area of j is 7 so we'll decrement our j so j will come at here and it will come at here so now you again calculate your area so area will be 
minimum of you can say array of i or array of j so minimum of array of i because why we are taking minimum because we can't take the water in this container okay we like this is uh, empty space so we can only take the area in this case that's why i choose the minimum of height so at this point the minimum is 3 and width is 7 minus 1 which is 5 oh sorry 6 so 3 6 uh, it's 18 but this is lesser than your maximum so you will not update now again which will you update so you will take the maximum height as you can so what you will do you will at this point you will decrement your j j will come at here you will go uh, till when your i is less than j when your i j is less than i you will just stop there so this is basically a two pointer approach that we follow so let's write the code for this so let's take two pointer so this is i uh, will start from zero and j will start from end i dot length minus one while i is less than j you will uh, we need to calculate the area also so let's take a area variable area is zero from start what we will do first step is to calculate the height so height will be math dot min whichever is minimum uh, basically height of i comma height of j and you will also calculate your width which is j minus i now you will calculate your area so area equal to math dot max area and height into it so whichever is maximum it will update it after this you need to update your pointers okay so if your height of i is less than equal to height of j what you will do you will increment your i otherwise you will decrement your j and finally we just return the area okay so let's run it uh, let's see so this is accepted uh, let's submit it so our code is submitted uh, hope you like it uh, thank you for watching my video and our time complexity is basically it's a two pointer approach and we are not taking any extra space so it's a order of n approach that we have followed thank you